Let's go ahead. Four bracket orders. Um, in order to set one of those up, we'll go, we're going to head over to our positions or to our trade tab here on the left side of the screen. Go ahead and click that little T-shield. If you're looking to set up a bracket order, we're going to adjust the asset type here to um, options. I'll show you how to set up bracket orders on both options and stocks. Um, so to set up a bracket order here on the options, what we can do is go ahead and click into one of the expirations. And then once we're in here, we'll go ahead and set up our spread. Um, we can go ahead and use our strategy selector tool for this if you want to. This strategy selector tool is located at the top of the screen. Right now we have it set to a normal iron condor, but let's say maybe we wanted to set up a, uh, let's go with a, we'll go with a uh, vertical, uh, short call vertical here on TSM, excuse me. And then uh, we do have an advanced option as well in the strategy selector here on the web 2.0 version. So you select show advanced. And then from here, you're actually able to type in some information. So if you didn't want to, uh, if you wanted to use the strategy selector here and didn't want to uh, scroll through or scroll through uh, the options chain yourself and have to select the, the strikes, you can actually go ahead and type in what you're looking for. After you select the strategy, you can hit the show advanced button. You'll notice now we get the ability to adjust the days until expiration, um, target in the money or out of the money. Uh, percentage, or we can just simply go one or two standard deviations out. And then we can also adjust the width. So uh, for example purposes here, if we wanted to go with something that's one standard deviation out, and then let's say a width of five. Once we have all of this set, we go ahead and hit this blue arrow next to short call vertical. And you'll notice now we have a uh, we have a short uh, call vertical spread set up here on TSM. In the uh, 15 day out expiration, there's no 15 day um, out expiration, so it just defaults to the next one after that. So in this case, 22 days out. Um, and then from here, you can you can see we have our trade set up just as we had just as we had typed it in. Um, we have a five dollar wide spread, one standard deviation out. That's denoted here in the order details in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can tell it's one standard deviation out because you'll notice we have this little blue line here. Um, let me go ahead and move this right now, just so you can see. This blue line will indicate uh, one standard deviation. This is placed both above and below um, the, the strikes here. So you can see those, those blue one standard deviation lines. So the strategy selector set it up just as we had just as we had typed in there. And then again, if you're looking to set up a bracket order on this now, what you can do in the bottom left corner of your screen is click this little button that says bracket. This will pop open our bracket order tab. Along the top here, now it's a little faint, but along the top here, you'll notice we have our um, in red, this is our stop loss order. And then underneath that in green, this is our take profit order. So if we're going to go ahead and set this up, let's say we wanted to set our stop loss trigger at, uh, we'll go ahead and go with $2. And then for the limit price, oh, looks like we have to adjust the limit price first. My apologies. Uh, so we'll go with a limit price of $2.10 and we'll set our stop lot or stop trigger price at $2.00. Um, on spreads, this is going to be a stop limit order. We only offer stop limit orders on spreads. There are no uh, stop market orders on spreads that we currently offer. And then once you have those amounts set, you'll see we get an estimated loss produced here at the bottom of the stop loss trigger box. Moving along here, now we want to set our take profit order. So this is just going to be a traditional limit order um, at your take profit amount. So in this case, if you're looking to edit that limit price, we'll go ahead, right now it's set at 34 cents, but we'll go ahead and bump that down to, let's say 10 cents. And then you can also set the time and force for both the stop loss and take profit from the bracket order tab here. Um, right now we have them both set to good till cancel. So that's what we'll, we'll leave them as. But if you're looking to adjust this in any way, go ahead, just simply select that box and you'll get the, 
looks like Zoom might be cutting me off here. Sorry about that. Uh, but you, you'll get the ability to set those up as uh, day orders if you want to. There we go. It's because the the uh, original order entry here on the left side was set. Time and force on that one was set as a uh, as a good till cancel. Sorry about that, everybody. So you'll have to adjust the time and force here. This one was set to GTC. That's why we weren't seeing the other options on the on the triggers. Um, so I've adjusted that today. And then now you'll notice on the st stop loss and take profit, you get the full range of uh, time and forces that we have to offer. So in this case, we'll keep the keep the wings here set to good till cancels. We'll also set the initial order entry up to a good till cancel as well. You can also edit the, just before we go ahead and route this, you can edit the uh, price at which you're entering the, the order to. Right now we have it set to 40 cents, but you can make adjustments there as well if you would like. So we'll go ahead and actually we'll go ahead and bump that up to, uh, why don't we go to a 35 cent credit. And then once you're satisfied with the order here, what you can do is go ahead and hit review and send, give the order one more look over, and then go ahead and submit the order. You'll notice now, right now, the order is going to be uh, pending since the equity market is closed. But you should be able to see that working order here in the positions tab. So again, if we go to the upper left corner where the briefcase icon is, positions tab, click on TSM. You'll notice now we have that uh, working order. This is going to be the pending one that we have displayed. These are the... Uh, wings and then also the initial order um, or order to enter are all displayed here as pending. And then if you're looking to maybe cancel or adjust those in any way, um, in this case, if we wanted to cancel that, that bracket order, we can go ahead and right click, hit cancel complex. And you'll notice now that will cancel the bracket order that we just set up on TSM.